Hey, hey, Solid Mustang, and no, you are not confused. I am playing Battlefront, but we are going to be talking about Call of Duty. And you're probably going, uh, Mustang, um, what's going on? The problem today was, you know, I'm snowed in. I can't get out. And apparently everybody else within my server area is the same, especially all the people who like to cheat in Call of Duty. They're all snowed in too because it was insane this afternoon. Um, case in point, and one guy on fringe. Um, and I wish I was recording. I hadn't started recording yet because I jumped in the middle of the game. One team's just getting just lambasted. Okay, it is 63 to 12. Like, okay, well this is bad. Now, I shouldn't have known right then. I just didn't have things hooked up. I, I wish I would have and had it recorded. Guy is up on top of that truck in the back uh, that overlooks the railway down where things being built there. Sniping. Peer up. Come around the corner. Sneak up behind this guy. I got all my stealth stuff going. Jump up there. Whack. One. Whack. Two. Whack. Three. Whack. Four. Four hits with the butt of the gun. Now he's laying down. I'm hitting him in the back. Should be one hit. Should kill him. Doesn't kill him. Unload my CUDA. Even trying headshots. Does not go down. Reload the CUDA. Start up again. Or maybe, you know, I'll get the kill eventually just to kill the guy. And his buddy who's linked up to him, you know, offs me. Look at the scoreboard. You have three or four guys who are linked up together, and not a single one of them have a death in that game. Not a single one. In fact, even their own teammates had left because it's just not fun anymore. And that's why I'm playing Battlefront here. I can just have some fun shooting up some stormtroopers, but. Get done with the rant. I'm going to tell you five things that need to be fixed in Call of Duty right now. Okay? Right now. That need to be fixed for the next Call of Duty. And uh, we'll do another video on what I think the next Call of Duty needs to be. But for now, let's get into this. First thing, the sound horn. You can hear somebody coming without the perk farther than you can with the sixth sense or yeah farther than you can do that little sensory thing with the sixth sense if you put on awareness it's more than double its range than sixth sense now how is that all jacked up i mean come on that's it needs to be reduced by uh 30 percent with aware 25 30 and about 50 percent without it or you need to really get silenced, silence running, turn around. Because even with silenced, it reduces the ability for someone to hear you, not eliminate it. And if you have the nice headsets on and a wear on, you can hear them all over the place, even with silenced. So that needs to get fixed. The next thing is, and I'm going kind of reverse order here, is the servers. The servers are next. Okay, these need to be fixed right now in Black Ops 3. That's what I'm talking about. Things that can be fixed right now in Black Ops 3. The servers, you need to get, you need to really work on it. I know a patch just came out. Who knows, maybe that will fix some things up. But you really need to get in there, and then you got to get security on those servers. The fact that all these people, I spend more time reporting people than I do playing the game. How is that fun? How is that okay for everybody? You know, if I hadn't been talked into by a friend of mine who's going through a horrible divorce, and wanted something to get online and do, and this is what he wanted to do, I would never have bought Black Ops 3. 
and I've regretted it from the time I bought it. But security has got to get in there and clear these guys out. How can you sit there and have a competition and say, hey, yeah, they got in here fair and square. Really? Are you sure? Because I'm not. So that puts your contest and all that money, that million dollar prize, in question. And that is a lawsuit waiting to happen. I wish I was an attorney because I love to bring it to bear. But it just gets to the point where it just gets ridiculous in the game. And it's got to get fixed. Going right up onto that, the lag. The lag has to get fixed. This is your 14th edition of a Call of Duty. I believe the 9th or 10th that is online. And I've been playing since it's been online. I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 3 on the original Xbox. And yes, that was god awful horrible. Well, that was the first time, and really the Xbox was okay at it at best. Uh, heck, you still have people who had dial up at that point. That's how old I am. So, you know, what? You know, but the Xbox One is much better than that. This should not be a problem. This should not be an issue. And Call of Duty needs to fix this now. Activision needs to fix this now. You see it really bad in Destiny too. You know, you have to fix it. I will say one thing about Battlefront. I have seen very little amount of lag with everything going on. I should see a ton of it. Now I've seen little it's a bits and pieces and, and things like that, and that's fine. You know, it's if it's not every game, if it's not, you know, I can count on it. Or if it's not, you know, okay, I know I'm ahead of the lag on this one. I'm behind the lag on this one. But the lag has to get fixed. And how come is it other games, they can fix it, but Call of Duty never does. It's because they're just grabbing up the money. Next thing is, for me, is the matchmaking. Which has gotten better. So maybe I should pop that down. But... There's no reason to sit there and have groups against individuals. Okay, it was in a big match. It was all teams on the other side and all individuals on the opposite side. So you have one group, it's all teams. One group, it's all individuals. How's that fair? And lo and behold, the group, the people who are in groups who can coordinate and everything else easier, then they stomped everybody. Now the next game, it split it up a little bit. It took one group, put them in on the other side, but still, it just it should never come down to that. And really, a mercenary team deathmatch add-on be fantastic. This way, individuals could play, or if you want to go into where you're more into groups and stuff, you can do that too. Mercenary TDM would go a long way. But, obviously Call of Duty wants you to get away from this because they make it insanely difficult to rank up and get your streaks on TDM. So, yeah. The last thing, and probably, and for me, the biggest thing, is the inconsistencies of Call of Duty. The total inconsistency. You will melt people in the first game. Do the exact same thing, even on the exact same map, and the exact same people, and you can't kill a thing. You know, one burst from your Pharaoh melts a guy, and you face against the exact same guy, he's got the exact same loadout, everything's the same, and it takes you four. And you're just sitting there going, what is going on? It's just so aggravating, the inconsistency of the game. This comes back a little bit to the lag, but it's just, overall, 
the range on the guns changes the damage on it because of the range changes the effectiveness uh, the the effectiveness yeah I can talk of the grip and so your recoil changes the, the way the gun handle changes it, it's just it's so irritating to sit there now in Thunder put out a great video I'll have to link it down below where he starts right up he gets first shot he's putting five shots from a man of war into the person including two headshots now that person you think is dead no that person unloads I believe it's with a VMP or Vesper or something like that and shoots him in the foot and melts thunder and you look at this game you go huh why you've had how many you know how many games we just had 14 games you know seven eight nine ten online you know come on this using the Xbox one and the advancements of that should have been fantastic now and the thing is thunder was playing on PlayStation so it doesn't matter which platform you're on if you're on the Xbox or if you're on PlayStation the inconsistencies of this game are insane and they need to be fixed they need to be fixed right now it, it, it cannot wait anymore it just cannot wait anymore so by the way here real quick I'm going to show you where all the diamonds are here in uh, in Hoth if, in case you need them incredible but your greatest challenge is still to come but all these things just contribute to what could be a really good game I really think even with all the sci-fi stuff that Call of Duty could be very enjoyable it could be a lot of fun but the people who cheat and who are allowed to continue to cheat in the inconsistencies of the game and the way they have everything set up just contributes to the frustration of the general public of Call of Duty. So Activision, I'm sending this one to you. You need to fix this thing and you need to do it now. I know it, it's got to feel like Call of Duty is invincible. Call of Duty sales exit on this Call of Duty went up. They actually did well. I believe it's around a half a billion dollars. Um, congratulations. But you look at the last two. And people are still very wary of Call of Duty for obvious and good reason to be. Those inconsistencies have got to go. They've got to go and they got to go now. They cannot wait anymore. I don't know what else to say about it. So, hopefully in this game, maybe, or very much hopefully Infinity Ward gets it right on the next game. I'll hope. So me, I'd just like to see Call of Duty 4 come back and just call it a day. So or the best of series. So but I will get into that next. The next thing will be the next Call of Duty, what's it gonna be, and hopefully it's good. Now you know where all the diamonds are here on Hoth. So the last one's right here. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for hearing me rant. Silent Mustang. Got your six.